you know, you can act all high and mighty if you like, because you don't want us all to drown, but when it comes right down to it, you're the only one here who won't compromise. Okay, so this TikTok by Soren Rikov is amazing, because it really highlights one of the central struggles that is happening within the Democratic Party right now. Hey y'all, got some bad news. It turns out that the boat we're in right now has some holes in it, and we are very quickly taking on water. Oh, dude, well, let's patch those holes and start bailing out water, yeah? Actually, I kind of like the holes. You know, I like watching the water come through. I think it looks cool. I was thinking, what if we made the holes bigger and threw the poor people on this boat overboard so that the rest of us could stay and watch the water come through the holes for longer? What the fu- Okay, hold up, hold up. It's clear that we've got some extreme ideas here on both sides. I suggested common sense steps that will keep us from drowning, which was very different from what he said. Yeah, cause he suggested that we do some murder while watching our boat sink cause he thinks it looks cool. I don't think that's exactly what he meant by that. No, 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 he got it right. Thank you for listening. That is what I want. Okay, how about this? We don't throw the people overboard, which is something you want. But then we also don't patch the holes, which is something you want. I can live with that. I still get to watch the boat fill up with water and the poor people drown eventually anyway, so... Fair? What is wrong with you? Oh, so now you're mad at me too? Yeah, cause both of your plans end up with all of us drowning. At least he's not being coy about it. You know, you can act all high and mighty if you like because you don't want us all to drown, but when it comes right down to it, you're the only one here who won't compromise. There are people on the left, people like myself, who might call themselves socialists, Marxists even, who want to do very basic, obvious things to solve the problems that we are dealing with. And then we have the Democratic Party, that is the establishment of the Democratic Party, and more liberal folks who don't want to do those things, right? Or at very least, they say they want to do those things. But it's so important that we compromise with the Republicans. When the Republicans are literally pushing overtly genocidal policies, they are pushing overtly fascist policies, they're even spouting literal Nazi conspiracy theories right now. But the liberals want us to make some sort of compromise and do some sort of half measures. And it fundamentally is both evil and shameless in one regard, but they're also smug about it and pretend to be much smarter than everybody else by pushing for things like compromise or reasonable policies. You know, you can't just house poor people, you can't just give homes to homeless people, you gotta make sure that people really deserve the housing, so you have to means test it. You have to make sure that they're exactly poor enough, you know, you'd have to make sure that it's you're helping exactly the specific people, and their policies actually cause more problems in the meantime. So let's take a perfect example. Uh, there was a housing policy, it was really interesting, public housing project that was designed well-intentionedly to help single mothers. But what ends up happening when you have housing projects that are public housing, that are very affordable rent, that is only for single mothers? Well, it turns out that that policy was particularly targeted towards black families in the United States. And the policy actively separated families from each other, which is to say that if people wanted their family to live in a comfortable apartment, well then, they were forced to get a divorce so that the mother could live with the children in the public housing, and then the father was ended up on the streets or living in their car. And this is actually the origin of a racist myth that exists within the United States. All of these right-wingers that cry about, like, black fathers, like, running away from their families or whatever, literally stems from this liberal policy of actively separating families by means testing housing. And then here's the real kicker. If you make slightly too much money while you're in that public housing, you got kicked out. And so people quite literally were put in a poverty trap where they were not allowed to make more money to then be able to maybe buy their own housing or maybe stay there and accumulate wealth for themselves and a certain degree of economic stability. 
This is the result of people trying to prove how smart they are by instead of implementing very obvious and basic universal policies, which they say are too simple. Oh, it's too simple. You need to study the ramifications. That's why we have to do this highly tweaked, meticulously calculated policy to laser focus our government assistance to the exactly correct people so that now we're not accidentally helping too many people. And they end up creating these massive problems and creating poverty traps. And these liberals, mind you, are the people that are running around calling themselves like the champions, the heroes, the good guys. And if you point out that their policies aren't so great, people get really, really mad at you. And these are, of course, the people that are calling themselves the good guys. You know, liberals that are giving friendship gestures to Republicans. But then, whenever you have anybody on the left present basic, obvious solutions, that say things like, hey, maybe Joe Biden should sign an executive order to like, you know, release people with nonviolent drug crimes from federal prisons. A very basic, obvious policy. To which Joe Biden and the liberals respond, how dare you, that's so divisive, you can't do that, that's so radical and extreme. When in reality, the real extremists in the Republican Party are welcomed by the liberals with open arms. So yes, I hate to break it to you, but to the centrist liberals out there who like to say how smart your policy is by not being universal, or to say how much of a galaxy brain you are by compromising with the Republicans, I think we're all catching on right now that your policies have failed. And the strategy of compromising has also failed. Maybe it turns out if you want to actually be the good guys as you claim to be, you have to actively reject any type of cooperation with the literal fascists that are running the Republican Party. This is Ben Carolla with Rebel Headquarters. You can catch my show Galaxy Brain every Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern Time on the Young Turks Twitch channel, and you can follow me at Benjamin Carollo on Twitter.